Hola, welcome YouTube viewers. Today in this video, I am going to describe some problems based on Hermitian operators. So, the problem for today is we have to show that the operator Px, the operator for linear momentum Px is Hermitian operator. Okay, so we need to show that the operator Px is a Hermitian operator. So, to show this, first of all, you need to take two functions. So, if psi and phi are two eigenfunctions are two eigen functions of operator a of an operator a okay then the operator a is hermitian if then operator a is hermitian if okay so now we are going to write the general equation for hermitian operator that's if i have two fair two functions psi and phi and both of these are eigen functions of operator a then i can say the operator a is a uh, that operator a is a hermitian operator if and only if it follows the it follows this condition that from negative infinity to positive uh, infinity the integration psi hysteric a operator being applied on phi d tau should be equal to from negative infinity to positive infinity phi operator a being applied on psi hysteric d tau okay so here the operator is applied on psi on on phi here the operator is applied on phi and here the operator a is applied on psi okay so um, I need to prove that uh, the operator, that the operator for linear momentum is a Hermitian operator. So I need to do, what I need to do is just to plug in the value. So how can I do that? Let's just take A here operator to be equal to linear momentum operator. Okay, so I'm taking A operator to be equal to linear momentum operator and the value of linear momentum operator is H over iota, okay, curly over curly X. Okay, and what will be the value of Px hysteric? The value of Px hysteric, its complex conjugate should be equal to, since iota here becomes negative, so the answer in the complex form will be curly over curly x. Okay, uh, so here comes the minus, uh, minus sign. So the next thing that you need to do is just to plug in the values. So in place of operator, I just need to write Px. So taking the equation, this one, taking this one equation, my equation the final equation becomes psi hysteric okay operator in place of operator i'm going to write px phi and since i'm taking long x so d tau changes into dx and the next thing from negative infinity to positive infinity phi and the operator px being applied on psi and here is the hysteric and dx okay so this is my left hand side and the right hand side of the equation. So the next thing that we need to do is just to take the left hand side of the equation and prove it to be equal to the right hand side of the equation. Okay. So taking the left hand side of the equation, taking left hand side of equation. Okay. So taking the left hand side of the left hand side of the equation says from negative infinity to positive infinity psi hysteric px being applied on phi d of x is equal to okay so now the left hand side uh, i'm gonna just put the value of px here okay from negative infinity to positive infinity psi hysteric is in the same place and in place of px i'm just going to plug in the value from here okay h over i okay d over dx okay phi and here's the dx so here it was curly but here it is d over dx so why the curly has been changed to d over dx actually the curly is just the partial derivation and d is complete derivation curly means that my given that here if i if i um, let me explain it side by side that if I have a curly 
P over curly X and I have curly I have DP over DX then what is the difference between curly P over curly X and DP over DX now I'm going to describe this that curly P over curly X means that here curly P that here P my variable depends that my P depends on X and also some other factors which have been kept constant for now okay the curly means that my P here depends on X but also on some other factors that are that have been kept constant for this calculation okay but here d d means that my p here totally depends on x okay so difference between both of these is uh, not so much now we can uh, just exchange them for example if there was curly over curly x so i can write d over dx phi into dx okay so the next thing that you need to do is is just write the equation here from negative infinity to positive infinity psi hysteric h over i d phi over dx into dx since this h over i is constant so i can get it out of the integration so out of the integration here it goes from negative infinity to positive infinity psi hysteric a um, since h has been gone so here is d phi over dx into dx so what we need to do next is just to take the integration of this part here uh, how can we take the integration of this part this part has a formula that which says that integration by parts integration by parts so how we are going to solve this the integration of par integration by parts if we have uh, integration on a function u and derivative of v then I get an answer equal to u v minus v integration du okay so here I have two functions one is psi hysteric and the other one is phi so I take phi a psi hysteric so I am taking psi hysteric here to be equal to to be equal to u okay and phi to be equal to v okay so now i'm going to just plug in the values uh, using the integration by parts here what you need to uh, do is here when i applied the integration by parts formula here the answer comes out to be first of all i'm going to write the left hand side of the equation the left hand side of the equation says from minus infinity to positive infinity psi hysteric p x momentum phi dx is equal to so now here h over i okay so next thing is i'm going to write i'm going to apply this formula here this formula here so on applying this formula i get u multiplied by v okay since u was psi okay so what i'm going to do is just write the psi here okay so next thing is v multiplied by v and v here is phi so i have phi since my integration has a range from minus infinity to positive infinity minus infinity to positive infinity okay so the next thing is minus and integration from negative infinity to positive infinity now i'm going to write v and in place of v i'm going to write phi and the next thing is du in place of u i'm going to write psi hysteric okay and the i have dx in denominator and here is my previous dx okay integration is dx so next thing that you need to do is as you know that here my wave function is from negative infinity to positive infinity and this cannot be possible for a wave function as you have read about it in a property this bracket uh, is for h over iota as you have read about in uh, the properties of wave function that a wave function should be uh, should have a limited value should have uh, should be continuous and it should not be infinite okay since here at the wave function my function is from negative infinity to positive infinity my wave function is infinite so the answer of this part here comes out to be equal to zero because my wave function cannot be infinite okay so the rest remains h over i this part becomes equal to zero zero minus minus infinity to positive infinity phi d psi hysteric over d x into d x okay so now zero cancels out zeros zero is over now h over iota when multiplied by this the equation becomes equal to integration from negative infinity to positive infinity um, phi 
phi here and h over aorta i am going to put it inside minus h over aorta i am going to put it inside so integration next thing is here d psi hysteric over dx into dx okay so uh, here what i'm going to do is from minus infinity to positive infinity phi okay minus h over aorta curly or d over dx into psi hysteric dx as you know that minus h over aorta d over dx is equal to px hysteric as you know that px hysteric is minus h over aorta d curly over curly x or d over dx so i can write it here h over aorta d over dx is equal to px hysteric so i can write this equation to be equal to from minus infinity to positive infinity phi px hysteric psi hysteric dx so as you can see that the answer here that the answer that i get here uh, phi px hysteric psi hysteric dx this answer here is equal to the right side right hand side of the equation okay since i have taken the left hand side of the equation in the start and proved it to be equal to the right hand side of the equation so i can say that my momentum px operator that my only uh, operator for linear momentum px is a hermitian operator as uh, operator being applied on phi gets the same answer as operator being applied on psi hysteric okay so that was all for today's video inshallah see you in the next video